excuse you, David. Um, it's kind of ironic, again, how we work, how things play out. Here's John talking about, he brings up Psalm 72, and I'm about to read a little bit of Psalm 27, and in, my sun, in our Sunday school class, we've been talking a lot about the oppressor, about the injustice. This past few weeks has, yeah, what do we do? And there's situations in there, and how do we deal with those situations? How we can show love to those that are probably coming out of homes that in the most part are unloved. Or would say that they live in very confusing homes where one or maybe even both of the parents are missing. There's a lot out there. And fortunately, thanks be to God, we have come out of situations that also have led us into bad situations. But he is this redeemer. Psalm 72 kind of brings it back again, doesn't it? Where it brings it into, he will comfort and bring the needy and help the weak and all those situations that are not nice. Oh yeah, I got to pray, don't I? Um, so I'm going to, again, start off with some of Psalm 72 um, to give us some perspective, some bring us back where we should be. Shall we pray? The Lord is our light and our salvation, and whom shall we fear? The Lord is the stronghold of our life. Of whom shall we be afraid? When evil men advance against us to devour us, when our enemies and our foes attack us, they will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against us, even then will we be confident. And from that confident, it's, it's you working in us. And many times, Lord, we will fall in the situations of what is going on around us, and we will fall victim to it. But that's where we have to give you thanks that you and your Holy Spirit can bring us back out of those situations that we may stumble into. Or our parents. Or our parents' parents. And your word. Lord, these places that we can go and hide we see it in Psalm 72 where there is so much oppression and so much strife and, and we can fall back also onto you, the comforter, the sustainer, the provider. Lord, around us there is so much, so much that is going against you. In our Sunday school class, we read about the violence that's going on. But then, Lord, in our news, we read about the violence that's going on in Ukraine or even in Russia. Or as Pastor Dan prayed a time ago where there are numerous wars or afflictions going on 
all the way around this sphere of yours. We pray, Lord, that that spirit of yours may kindle in leaders, the leaders of our country, the leaders of our neighborhood, our families, that they may look upon you and your word and come back to the way you created it. As Jesus, at the time of Lazarus, he wept. He wept for all of us because he is our God. Death was not part of creation. And you have the ability to bring life out of death. So we look for the hope. Because we need the hope. We have brothers and sisters that are dealing with different things. With cancer, with surgeries, procedures, diseases, relocation, ups and downs, Lord, that can bring them down. But we ask for healing. Healing of the, the heart and the mind and the soul. Emotionally, spiritually. To bring us back to your bosom. Back to creation. That we can experience your strength back in that time of creation. Your peace and for our lives. To put it back where you brought it from. To where we put it, not Adam and Eve. It's also us. We have to see ourselves in all this. So, but we look outside, Lord, and we see the changing of the season. That this is water instead of snow. And pretty soon. Our farming community will be looking at that land with seeds on their mind, a crop to be planted. But there will also be times of danger for all of us. But there will be in particularly times of planting and sowing, lack of sleep, lack of attention in our driving, or wherever it may be, because we are human. And we ask, Lord, that you will help us to come in those times to give us strength and awareness of what we're doing, that you are the creator and the sustainer and the provider and the, the one that makes the seeds grow. But first, we have to plant it. Give us the strength, Lord, to do what we must do, to plant even not only seeds of grain or barley or whatever, soy, but also, ultimately, the message of the gospel. You came down to make this right for us, but we have a job, too, to admit that we're wrong and to call upon you and to be blessed by you. So we pray, Lord, that wherever we go, in whatever program we may be into, be it Sunday school, cadets, gems, our pastor and his family, the leaders of the church, elders and deacons, bless them the knowledge and the strength to move on. And we ask for your comfort in all these situations. And we pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, sorry, but you're coming up to introduce. Uh, oh, I am? Okay. So. Uh, sorry? Oh! Are you still standing there? Are you? Well? <laughs> 
Not long, I hope. Okay, yeah, those that are at, actually in the proper age group uh, for Sunday school, your teacher and favorite teacher is waiting for you back there. <laughs>